if you're watching this video, that's because collecting large numbers of signatures is very painful. Maybe you're a financial broker, a wealth manager, a master to law practice, and you're looking for ways to automate the entire paperwork workflow, but you want to do it in bulk. And by bulk automating, what I mean is the ability to generate, send, track, and retrieve the signed documents and the information that your recipients have entered in form fields back inside of your database. And you wanna do this for tens of thousands of records, tens of thousands of documents and forms. And so that's exactly what this video is going to demonstrate because I'm gonna use the example of one of the largest insurance brokers in California, one of our clients, who has fully automated a workflow that involves 40,000 forms annually. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is uh, Sofian, formerly with DocuSign, now founder of SolusSign. We help insurance brokers, wealth managers, and investment firms harness the power of automated workflows by simply bridging the gap between your document management systems and the other tools that you use every day. If you're interested in automating your workflow where you need to collect loads of signatures and data from people, you can just click on the link just below to book a consultation with one of our consultants to explore how we can strategize your workflow automation and its implementation. But for now, let's go back to the main issues that organizations face when dealing with large volumes of signatures. And I'll use Keenan, one of our financial brokerage clients, as the example. As one of California's largest insurance brokers, they sell tens of thousands of retirement plans to their clients each year. And for each plan sold, five forms needed to be filled out by those participants, those clients. We call, we call them participants. That's 40,000 forms, which represents about five trees, which is kind of sad, but Googled it, I didn't know. Keenan's team had to send out enrollment forms using DocuSign by having a CSV list with all the data for their participants and uploading those inside of a DocuSign template. Then they had to wait to see who, who signed, didn't sign, and who completed the paperwork, relying on their email inbox, waiting for the DocuSign notification saying the document has been completed. And in order to remember who had signed and who hadn't signed, they were using Excel. Some people weren't signing quick enough, so the team had to follow up with those people, either by phone or by email. When people said, I haven't received the DocuSign link, or maybe I lost it, they had to resend the link and they had to go inside of DocuSign, create a new envelope which costs money, or try to find the previous envelope that was already sent and resend it. Once documents were returned signed by DocuSign, they updated the spreadsheet again, downloading the signed PDF forms, uploading it um, inside of a folder. They had to rename it so that they can easily find them, copy the information entered in the form fields by those signers back inside of a database, export all of this information to a separate spreadsheet and email that spreadsheet to the underwriting. Finally, they could be, kept, be paid their commission. This process amounted to more than 5,000 hours per year, just on manual processing. But now everything is automated using API integration. And so this is what Kinen workflows um, looks like now. So rather than using a spreadsheet, all the participants are stored in a CRM that's connected to DocuSign. So as you can see here, we have the list, list of people. I've only added five um, as an example, but they have thousands and thousands and thousands. And they can easily create and send anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 envelopes in just one click. Let me just show you for a couple of those. One click, actually two, allows me to send five envelopes at one time, at once. We can see here started envelope generation. This envelope has been sent to that participant. Participants are easily organized by uh, statuses. So as you can see here, we have some that are sent, queued, completed, voided. We also have autoresponded in case the email of the person bounced back. And we also have declined in case the person did not want to sign the envelope. The beautiful thing is that the status is instantly synced. So there's no need for a separate spreadsheet. Let's just pretend that I've just followed up with this person, Amelia, and she said that she hadn't received the link. I can leave note here and resend the notification directly from here. I don't need to log inside of DocuSign. We have the last follow up date automatically here. So we know that if this person doesn't sign maybe in a week time, we have to follow up again and we'll have to um, try to approach the problem differently. This participant's email is invalid, which is why the status shows as other responded. In that case, what Keenan knows is that the email is wrong, so they're not going to contact the participant by email, but they're going to give them an, uh, a phone call. And we can see the email is actually incorrect. So let's just pretend that we just spoke to Ruby and they gave, um, he gave us 
is new email, you can fix the email right here. So updated email. And then we can update it by correcting and resending the envelope. And we have a confirmation here in the record log that the envelope has been corrected. And this is such a huge time saver because Keenan doesn't need to go inside of DocuSign, try to find the envelope or and fix it or send the envelope a second time and pay for another envelope. And they also don't need to update the envelope in two places, once in DocuSign and once inside of their database. When dealing with thousands of documents, you really want to reduce data entry as much as you can. And here is the envelope that was corrected, as you can see, it was sent to me and zero minutes ago, so just right now. I'm gonna click on review document and see what happens. The status of the envelope changed from sent to opened, and we can see that in the log here as well. And here is our envelope. We have the SSN pre-field, so let's just try to understand why this is happening. And the reason this is pre-field is because the tax ID is here, which means that we can create pre-field DocuSign envelope. But now, as we can see, the address is missing. So I'm going to fill this out and sign the document, and then we'll see what happens. Remember the address that I just entered, 123 Main Street, Smallville. Now we can see that the envelope status no longer says open, but says completed, and a few other cool things have happened. We can see here there's a PDF attachment. So if I click here, I can see signed PDF directly inside of my database. We can also see that the PDF has been renamed and it contains the name of the person, which is very handy because we don't have to do that. We also have the link to that PDF document inside of a cloud folder. In this example, I'm using Google Drive, but I could work with SharePoint or with any other cloud folder um, that your company might be using. That a uh, document has also been renamed inside of the cloud folder. And just as importantly, if I click on my contact, I can see that the information that I have entered in the form fields here have synchronized inside of my record. And that's without me having to do any copy paste. And finally, that report is shared with the underwriting, which means that Kinnon no longer needs to be manually sending information when somebody is fully enrolled. And one of the standard features for Kinnon was the ability for their team to create and integrate new document templates and create new workflows without needing to hire a developer. This is really crucial for organizations because your team should be able to create new workflows without any downtime, without the need to hire developers as well. So when Kinnon needs to create a new template, they can create their own new workflows without having to ask us to do anything. Let me show you how this works. Let's just say they need to create a new template for X, X reason. I'm just going to copy this template for uh, simplicity reasons, but we, can, we could also just create a new template from scratch. I'm gonna call it my new template. And inside of my new template, I'm gonna add a new field. I'm gonna call it new field. And I'm going to save my template. Now I'm going to click on refresh my DocuSign template and instantly my new template shows up here, which means that now if I ever want to pre-fill information in that new field or if I want the information entered by people in that new field in DocuSign to be saved back inside of my database, I can simply say, explain which field I want. Maybe I want to use tax ID. Maybe I want my address lined. Line two, I don't know. So this allows you to map the fields. That means that the data will always show up in the right place without having to do any copy paste. Now that's for the new template setup. But then they might need to create a new project. Let's just say new project. And maybe they want to add, I don't know, another set of participants. Let's just say they can specify the name of the folder where the documents are going to be saved. Select the template that they want and I can now create my envelopes. And from here, I can even preview my envelopes to make sure that the document that they contain matches with the, the information that I have on file. If I have any doubt that the data mapping wasn't done correctly, for example. So we can see that Ruby Bonnie's envelope looks good. That's his name, that's fine. This is my new field that I've just created earlier that I mapped to the tax ID, which is normal that the, the information shows up here. And then this is mine. So I clicked on generate envelope and as you can see, it's not my name, it's someone else's name. So maybe the information for that specific participant is incorrect. So that allows us to see errors in our data. So Keenan estimated that they're saving 95% of the time they used 
to spend on manual document processing. And so this sort of transformation does not just mean a significant reduction in cost, but also ensures accuracy, efficiency, and scalability. In summary, if you want to automate large volumes of documents and signatures, here's what your integration needs to be able to do. First, it's bulk DocuSign actions or bulk e-signature actions. You need to be able to press one button to trigger actions and workflows on large volumes of documents at one at the same time. And you don't just want to be able to send the envelopes, but you also want to be able to update the envelopes already sent and cancel them without having to log inside of the DocuSign web app. You also want obviously the auto status tracking, collaboration, so you want the ability to give access to the same system and the same data to more different team members, so there's no data uh, versioning issues when using different Excel spreadsheets. You want integration to automatically update your system of records with the signed documents, but also with the information collected in the form fields. And finally, the system should be user friendly so that your team doesn't need to involve the developer each time they need to create a new workflow. Now, I'm not going to lie, building these systems takes expertise. It takes work, it takes time, it takes planning. You can absolutely learn to do it by yourself, but if your team doesn't have the bandwidth, that's exactly what we are here for. So you can book a strategy session with one of our automation consultants to discuss the workflow that you're looking to automate. The link is just down below. During that call, we'll analyze your specific use case and create your custom um, implementation roadmap so that you understand exactly what are all the steps that we can take care uh, of for you so that you don't have to. In the next video though, I'm going to show you how you can save tens of thousands of dollars by switching from DocuSign to a cheaper electronic signature subscription in case you don't need all the bells and whistles that DocuSign provides. I still believe it's the best e-sign platform on the, on the planet, but for some organizations that don't need to collect complex data, there's like cheaper alternatives. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy signing.